Hello there, I'm Dr. Purnendu Roy. I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital, and this is Roshmina, my daughter, uh, Judy, is a second year medical student. Judy, you have been asking me several questions, interviewing me and asking my experiences. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know, as a doctor or even as a father, about the, what is going through your mind mm -hmm. while you are going through the medical curriculum. During these years which you have been in the medical school, whatever you have finished in two years, mm. uh, what is one thing which you found very interesting, you liked? That's a good thing about the medical curriculum. Okay. So one thing I really enjoy is that we get uh, to meet people and patients from a very early point. So I really enjoy our clinical sessions because we get to pretend to be doctors. We wear our coats, we wear our stethoscopes and then we ask them what's bothering you, how can we help. So I feel like that helps us to feel like we're actually studying to be a doctor. Whereas in a lot of places they get clinical exposure much later. So if it's just textbook studying, it can, it can get a little boring. Yeah, I can understand. What you're basically meaning hmm. that in India the system is we study anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, mm -hmm. then pharmacology, pathology, and the preclinical subjects. Yeah. And when we don't have contacts with the patients, yeah. and then we go to clinics later on. But what you enjoy is these interactions and in realistic that the patient has a problem and you're trying to interact. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so what is it that you don't like in the medical college uh, system? Uh, it could be a subject, mm -hmm. uh, or it could be some chapter, mm -hmm. or it could be some protocol which you follow in medical curriculum. Okay, so uh, I really don't like studying microbiology. Why? Why is that? <laughs> I don't know, Shigella, Salmonella, I, I don't want to do all this. No, the basis of any disease mm. is say infectious disease, mm. whether it is bacteria like streptococcus, staphylococcus, whether it is virus, mm. measles, mums or rotavirus or anything, mm. uh, that causes the disease. So you don't like uh, memorizing these things? I think we have too many to learn. Which too is many virus or too many <laughs> <laughs> subjects? Both. Both, okay. Yeah. I, I have a feel that sometimes what happens, you know, you tend to uh, develop, you know, like w how much of this will be useful later in clinical practice as a doctor. Yeah. Uh, I personally also think that many of you medical students have already formed a decision that this is what I'm going to do. Hmm. Like say, I had decided in school itself, I want to be a surgeon. Hmm. Now, if you have decided a branch, maybe you are thinking, whether streptococcus is coagulase positive, <laughs> how is it going to help me? Is that the thing you're talking about? No, I just don't think that it's very fun to learn for me. Specific. Fun to learn anything? Or no? no, fun to learn microbiology. microbiology. Okay. Yeah. Do, you like, do you like parasitology? Echinococcus granulosus or say uh, ankylostoma duodenal, you know, like these names and different cycles of different parasites which keeps going through. You don't like that If also. I could, I'd avoid it altogether, you could ever do but I can't, I so I'm doing it. The next thing that I want to know, Judy, hmm. before joining med school, you hmm. definitely had some, this is what med school is going to be. Hmm. Uh, after finishing school, I'm going to go to college. College is fun. <laughs> Away from away from home and this is so you must have had some idea about what college life and med school is going to be yeah um, is it matching or is it <laughs> oh god this is not what i wanted um see i definitely went in thinking that it would be hard and i would need to study a lot but i didn't realize i would have to study this much so you mean you thought it was hard and it's it come out to even harder even harder okay yeah. okay because i expected to have a more happening social life okay which sadly isn't happening okay. but it's okay i'm i've made my peace with that because I know that I'm sacrificing that for something bigger in the long run. So is this what you're saying that if there is a goal hmm. and this is what you're dreaming about, this is what I want to be. Hmm. So then the path of struggle, you know, like when mountaineers are climbing, hmm. when you know that you're going for an Everest climb, hmm. you have to keep thinking about putting that flag on Everest. Hmm. So then the trek and the mountaineering 
the path doesn't become that difficult. Is that what you're doing? Uh, I don't know about that. What I try to do is look at more short term goals. goals. So I try and like plan, okay, this I is... I must pass second year. <laughs> <laughs> then I must pass third year. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to just go each day at a time. So I try and motivate myself through the day so that I can continue doing it. And do you think that one should decide early enough hmm. that I want to become cardiologist, I want to do something with the heart, or I want to become a psychiatrist. Should it be early enough so that you have created a focus, hmm. or should it be go through the different phases, hmm. go through the actual experience, hmm. and then take a decision? What's your, have you decided what you want to do? I mean, I have an inclination. Inclination, okay. Yeah, but... I, I guess it depends on the person. A lot of people are drawn to a certain field from a very young age. So if they know that this is definitely what I want to do, maybe they can't help but feel connected to it. But for a lot of people, they have an idea. But when they're actually in that field, when they're rotating in their internship, they realize that it's not what they expected or even want. So then they change their mind. Uh, no, you basically dodged the question because I wanted to know which is a better idea. The reason I'm asking you, Judy, is this. I had something bothering me during my preclinical and clinical years hmm. because I wanted to become a surgeon. Hmm. I went and asked my professor, how do I know whether I'll become a good surgeon or not? Hmm. Imagine, suppose if you decide you want to become a professional singer. Hmm. Now you practice singing, you do rewards, hours and hours, hmm. you spend eight, ten years, and then you realize you're not able to become a very successful singer. Hmm. Then you've already spent ten years. Hmm. So uh, it's like, take it in anything. Mm -hmm. So if you, you, if you want to play tennis, hmm. you can't, you might not become Roger Federer or, hmm. or, or Rafael Nadal. If you want to play football, there are so many children. I love football. I want to become a footballer. Hmm. How is it that if you have an inclination now, hmm. Have you ever thought of it, how to know whether I will become good in this line? Yeah, you can ask people if you think that you have the qualities that you you might need for that inclination. or well, you That comes a very good, brings us to a good point. So what are the qualities <laughs> that are required to become a good doctor? Um, empathy. Empathy, okay. Feeling, right, next. Uh, honesty. What, honesty in what in terms in of in terms of uh, your work you have to be uh, that's for everything yeah that's for okay. everything um, dedication to service and uh, forgetting everything else in life for partly for a while okay. do you know what are the qualities that are required there is a there is a saying a good qualities required to become a good surgeon have you heard of it uh, no no okay eyes of an eagle okay you have to have sharp vision. Hmm. Heart of a lion. <laughs> you should you should be bold. You should not be scared about anything, trauma, hmm. injuries, and everything. Hmm. And hands of a lady. <laughs> so these are the three qualities which people said about surgeon. Okay. So I definitely did not have a hands <laughs> of a lady. I wasn't very sure whether I was able to convince myself that I was a lion. <laughs> uh, but I yes, my eyesight was very sharp. Even now at this age, I can see clear vision. So with only my eyes, I decided I want to be a surgeon. Hmm. And if you have decided what you want to do, hmm. should you pursue that? Do you, there, is a, there is a term I remember which I used to feel very strongly. Hmm. It's Mother Teresa's quotation. Yeah. Become monomaniac with a mission. Right. Monomaniac with a mission. Got it. You got it? So... What's your line that you want to do? You, you thought about it? Uh, I'm interested in psychiatry. Okay, that's that's very good. Actually, mental illness is taken such huge proportion all over the world, mm. uh, even in children and school-going children. Yeah, because I've always wanted to be in the healthcare field, but also I wanted to bring in mental health somewhere. So if not medicine, maybe I would have done psychology. I was quite confused, as you very well know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, eventually I will be there someday, okay. somehow. So then it is, it's not very difficult. When I say, what are the qualities? Hmm. If you can ask your friends, hmm. are you good in sorting out 
you know, conflicts between people? Mm -hmm. Are you good with interrogations and communication skill? Mm -hmm. And whether when somebody is having difficulty, mm -hmm. are you empathetic? So you can find out whether you have the qualities to become a good psychologist or a psychiatrist, mm -hmm. but I have no clue what are the qualities, you know, actually required to be a good surgeon. Right. So you join a profession and not sure whether you will become really good with your hands. Uh, I'm not sure whether you have already understood this or not. Hmm. Do you feel the general mass hmm. will feel more comfortable with a lady doctor or with a male doctor? Or is it women who finds more comfortable with women? Uh, do you have any idea? I, I don't know, but I guess that depends on the mindset of the person. If someone believes that whichever doctor they go to will treat them well and not, you know, deviate from their job, then it doesn't make a difference if the person is a male or female or even non-binary for that matter. In interventional side, hmm. like a surgery, hmm. there are uh, surveys which shows that men, not women, tend to put their trust more on male surgeons, okay. not go to female surgeons. Okay. But surprisingly, for gynecology and obstetrics, hmm. women would like to put their trust on a lady gynecologist. Usually, this right. is not the rule. Right. So, my question was, I had gone around asking, that if a gynecologist, lady doctor is so good with scissors and knife, hmm. that they can do major operations in gynae. Why is it that so much less number of women coming to general surgery or orthopedic line? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why people choose so what I, they choose. I, I, I cornered you. That was the intention. <laughs> so I can ask you a question which you don't know. I actually went to an ASI conference, hmm. Associations of Surgeons of India, and interviewed several women Hmm. That why they are so less in number. Hmm. And they said that it's a very male-dominated branch surgery. Now that you're in med school hmm. and you like certain things, you don't like certain other things, uh, what will be your advice to a student who is still not decided or determined and come and ask you that, Didi, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, please tell me that should I join med school? So what will be your uh, way of assessing that? Uh, I guess I would tell people who are very keen that of course you should follow your heart and do what you really want. However, you should keep in mind that it's going to be a really long journey and it can get a little uh, testing at times. It can test you. You might feel like when does this end? When do I get to rest? When do I get to have fun like other people? But um, if you're energetic and charged and if you're very motivated, if you're disciplined, then definitely like you can make it. So that's what I'd like to say. Well, what I gather from my daughter, that listen to your heart, that was the summary. Uh, but from my side, who have already finished med school, have done surgery, practicing as a surgeon, I would say that this is the only profession where you get to cure people save lives, serve them, at the same time make your living and make money. And there is a challenge involved. So I would like to put it in that note mm. that if your heart wants, this is probably is not as scary mm. that like life is going to be ruined if you become a doctor. That's not true. Mm. Uh, if you think that you enjoyed watching this, if you have your opinion, please give us comments like it, share it with your contacts, subscribe to my channel and keep watching such videos that we will keep on putting on our YouTube video channel. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you liked our conversation and we definitely hope you'll come back again. Thank you very much.